With a growing graveyard real estate crunch and a desire to go green, many people are plotting other after-death options. Okay. Jocelyn Monette wants to protect the environment in death as much as she does in life. To that end, she doesn't want to be buried or cremated. I don't want fossil fuel to be part of my journey out of this, uh, out of this world. Instead, Monette wants her remains handled using a system called aquamation. There's no fire, there's no smoke, there's nothing. It's just a stainless steel vessel with water gently flowing over the body. The scientific name of the process is alkaline hydrolysis. The body goes into a purpose-built unit. Water, heat, sodium and potassium are used to break down its proteins, fats and carbohydrates. The leftover bones can be fragmented and put into an urn. The effluent put down the drain. Aquamation simply dissolves the body. The alkaline water solution and heat actually replicates what's happening in the grave except it's doing it in about two hours, as opposed to years. So this is the preparation area. Chris Banesh wants aquamation approved in BC and has an online campaign to petition the government. According to BC Vital Statistics, 38,333 people died in the province last year. 80% of them were cremated. We're looking at just a little over 10 million kilograms of carbon pollution going into the atmosphere uh, every year. The carbon footprint of aquamation is reportedly seven times less than cremation. There are two types of aquamation, high temperature and low temperature. The high temperature alkaline hydrolysis has been reviewed by organizations like WHO and uh, the opinion that they have is that this is uh, a method that may be used that does not endanger public health. As for low temperature, experts want more research to determine if it can safely disinfect human remains, destroy proteins that can transmit illnesses like mad cow disease. Ontario allows only high temperature aquamation. BC offers only cremation and burials. Alkaline hydrolysis is gaining popularity, but it's not new. It's an idea that was patented in the United States in the 1880s as a way to dispose of dead farm animals. In more recent times, it's been used to process dead pets, medical waste, and human bodies donated to science. As an alternative to flame cremation, it's legal in Quebec, Ontario, Saskatchewan, and up to two dozen American states. Bringing it to BC, though, isn't a priority. Government has reviewed aquamation, but has no plans to approve it. So we're not asking you to eliminate fire. We're asking you to add water and let us make the decision. That's all. Belle Puri, CBC News, Victoria.